Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is at Crypto and Mining Updates 2025. So Kiva has just released a new update about adding their network on your Web3 wallet. This is in preparation for the airdrop. So yeah, on today's video, I'll be showing you step by step on how you can add the Kiva network on your MetaMask wallet or any of your Web3 wallet of your choice. I'll also show you how to import the MC contract address on your web3 wallet can either be metamask trust wallet okx as long as it is a web3 wallet so but before i show you the guide on how to do that let's go through the latest post post uh, of the kiva network about adding uh, the network uh, the kiva network on our web3 wallet so when you go to the kiva network you'll find this latest update kiva network and since five hours ago the MC token airdrop is coming soon. Please set up the Kiva network in your external wallet. Blockchain Explorer, you can see you have given the Blockchain Explorer here. Then RPC address, then you have the RPC Kivanet.com. Then the token name, which is Kiva. Then the chain ID there. Then please add HTTPS before the domain name. So yeah, that's all that you have been given. So with this, now we can add the the network the kiva network on our web3 wallet so how you add it it's very simple open your metamask wallet for my case i'll just open mine so yeah open uh, your metamask wallet so after opening your metamask wallet basically how to add the kiva network on your web3 wallet uh, it's uh, there are two steps or two methods on how you can do that there's the first method which is simple and the other method is a bit a bit uh, hard so, okay, and I'll show you both of them now. So, the first method, uh, just come and click on a browser. Come and click on browser on your MetaMask wallet. So, when you open your browser section, click on the search tab, then uh, head on to where you see the blockchain explorer, the blockchain URL. Copy that blockchain URL, then come and paste it on your MetaMask browser. So the blockchain URL is what you paste here. You can see this is the blockchain URL. It was HTTPS explorer.kivachain.xcyz. Then after pasting that block, uh, blockchain explorer there, click on search. Sorry. So yeah, click on search. So uh, when you click on search, uh, the explorer platform will uh, load for you. So uh, when it uh, this page uh, comes on your side, what you do, just scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down to where you can see add to wallet. You can see here, we have an option of adding to wallet. Now click on add to wallet. So this is the simple method of adding the Kiva network on your wallet. So add to wallet. So, okay, let's wait for it to load. Okay. So add Kiva, you're adding this network to MetaMask and giving Explorer Kiva chain XYZ permissions to use it. Then currency, so here are the details of the Kiva network. You can see the currency is Kiva. Then the network RPC, uh, that's HTTPS, uh, kivanet.com. Then the chain ID, there's a the chain ID. You can see, you can confirm with the one on the Twitter page. If it's the same, you can see it's 55. 139 the same as the one on twitter then the display name is kiva blockchain explorer make sure it's the same so yeah basically this is the correct uh, network so come and click on confirm so click on confirm then okay this prompt will appear on your page uh connect to this website blah 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 come and click on a uh, connect then just give it a few seconds and uh Okay, uh, and uh, after after uh, adding it now, after giving it a few seconds, then go back to your wallet. Let's confirm if you have added the Kiva ne uh, network on our MetaMask. So when you head on back to wallet, so come and click on networks here. So basically here's the network section. So click on there. When you click on there, scroll down and you'll find that it has been added successfully. So when you follow what I've just done correctly, just copy the blockchain explorer on your browser section, paste it there, scroll down, then just click on the MetaMask tab, then add it. When you do it correctly, it's going to uh, appear on your network section. So just select it. So of course, after, okay, you have switched to, okay, got it. So after switching to Kiva network, of course, the uh, Kiva token will appear on the Kiva network on your home MetaMask page. So if you have some Kiva tokens, of course, 
they will have to reflect here. So that's the first method of adding the Kiva network on your MetaMask wallet. Now we also have the other method which is a bit hard. Let me show you the other method. So what you do after opening your MetaMask wallet, come and click on search here. Then uh, click on add custom network. Then uh, network name. Now let's fill these details. You remember on the Twitter uh, uh, page we saw this detail there was the network name the rpc url the chain id the symbol the block explorer url so okay under the network name of course it was kiva so right type kiva then the blockchain explorer let me paste it the uh, rpc explorer so i'll just paste mine so okay just click on this small arrow then click on add rpc url you remember on the twitter page you were given the rpc url which was rpc.kivanet.com but we were required to add the https domain uh, sorry the https before the domain name so okay i'll just uh, paste the rpc then okay just come and add a space here so yeah just add a little space uh, there okay that's rpc so okay, uh, what you do, I know this uh, this might be the uh, the hard part for most of people. So what you're required to do, impute this uh, HTTPS in capital, then followed by these double commas, then impute a space, then these uh, strokes, then followed with the, uh, the RPC, which will get it on the description of my video, or you can just go get it on the Twitter page. So yeah, add that when you uh, just copy what I've written here, uh, the way it's, it is then when you do it that correctly you'll have an option of adding the rpc url so click on add then you can see it has added successfully now let's head on to the next part the chain id so the chain id you were given and it was five five let me confirm uh, it was five five one three nine so impute five five one three nine then of course the same you already have have a network with the same chain id or rpc enter a new chain id so for my case uh, I, I already added it with the other the first method i had shown you so that's why i'm getting this prompt but if you're using this method for the first time uh, it will be just it won't it won't bring this uh, red prompt so you'll just uh, just move on smoothly so for the symbol the symbol was kiva then for the block explorer you'll just paste yours okay come and click on add so go get the one uh, that was on the twitter page then paste it then okay you can see you have an option of adding the block explorer so make sure you rate everything the way i've just done for my side so when you do this correctly the green button will light up of course and you'll come and click on add explorer so okay so for my case i can't save this because i already have this token but for your case you'll have an option for saving and when you click on save the network will add successfully on your metamask wallet or any web3 wallet you're using it can be either trust wallet okx uh, any web3 wallet so okay so when you just click on networks there you're going to find your kiva token added Sorry, your Kiva network added and your Kiva token will also be available on your MetaMask homepage. So also, you remember, we were also told to, uh, to add the, the uh, contract address for MC token. MC token airdrop is coming soon. Please set up the Kiva network in your external wallet. Then we are given add the MC token contract address and we'll be given the address there. Then you are to get ready for the airdrops, okay? How you add the contract address, it's very simple. Come and click on import tokens. Or when you click on import tokens, then you're going to have to select the network. So of course, you're gonna have to click on Kiva. So come and click on Kiva network. So that's why you are supposed to import the network before importing the MC token contract address. So okay, now you have to import the MC token using its contract address now go get the contract address from the twitter page or i'll provide it on the video description just to copy paste it from there then use it here so okay uh, just paste the address there 
So automatically when you paste the correct contract address, it's going to light green, which means this is the correct contract MC contract address. So just click on next, then you can see Moticoin uh, token. So this is the MC token we are talking about. You are supposed to add it. So come and click on import. So there we have it. Now we have added the Kiva network. We have the Kiva token, and we have the we have imported the Moticoin token using the contract address. The correct contract address and basically those are the simple steps on how to add the kiva network on your web3 wallet and also how to import the mc token using its correct contract address on your web3 wallet remember you can use any wallet the method is basically the same on all the wallets doesn't matter it uh it's an okx web3 binance web3 uh trust wallet web3 uh uh, any web3 wallet as long as it's a web3 wallet and you're using it then the method is basically the same and that's how you do it so if this video has helped you uh, make sure you subscribe my youtube channel for more crypto and mining updates